sweet, sweet aspartame. What challenge are you doing today then? What was that? What challenge are you doing oh, today? Oh, do you know I am? <laughs> I'm going to, uh, to Lincoln. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a nice day. You too, Always a pleasure when you're out and about and you see someone who enjoys the videos. I mean, she didn't say she enjoyed the videos. Maybe she's just familiar with who I am. I don't want to be presumptuous. Anyway, today's the last video before Texas. So I better make it a good one. Shut up, man. Shouting and screaming. I'm trying to film a video here. <laughs> Spiffing weather for it. It's gonna be a rude drone shot. Come on, while we're young, out you come. You might actually recognize the locality of today's episode because I'm back at Take 5 Tea Room where I did uh, a breakfast challenge a couple months ago. And I said at the time I'd be back to take on the Mega Mix Challenge, which as far as I can tell, seems to be kind of like a plowman's lunch. So it should be interesting. I got my door smashed off. Jaywalking here, jaywalking. There's a reason this is illegal in most countries. One of the uh, the few freedoms we still enjoy in, in England. The freedom to get knocked over by oncoming traffic. Guess who's back? Back again. Beard is back to block your drain. I'm not going to block your drain really. Look at this handsome chap on the wall of fame here. Eh? I've been accompanied by a second man as well. Top work from this fella. He's got a nice beard as well. Right, this is the one we're doing today, the Mega Mix Challenge. Oh, here we go. I did the Scotch egg to make it a bit more working class. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But you'll be the first person who does it in there. Yeah? And if people's tried, they failed. Even when they've had no time limit at all, they haven't been able to finish it. I saw the guy from the radio show came yeah. to try and do it. Bless him. <laughs> this guy here. George, sadly failed. No way. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, How long is it going to take me? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Right, today I'm at a place called Take 5 Tea Room. I've got no excuse to get the name wrong because I have been here before. Uh, I'm actually on the wall of fame over there. Today I'm taking on the Mega Mix Challenge, which includes, it's kind of like halfway between a plowman's lunch and an afternoon tea, because you've got pork pie, quiche, scotch egg, cheese and crackers, some sandwiches, but then there are also some cream cakes and whatnot. You get 30 minutes to finish, and if you finish inside 30 minutes, it's on the house, yes. yeah? Do I get two pictures on the Wall of Fame if I win? Um, shouldn't tell. That's a joke, I don't want to be on there twice. I'm not that egotistical. <laughs> right, so, without further ado, this is Baby Mix Food and this is Take 5 Tea Room's Mega Mix Challenge. Do you want to synchronise with me? You ready? Three, two, one. Who's going to win? That was, that, that was, that was perfect. Three, two, one, go. That was a really dramatic three, two, one. Thank you, you've been practising that since last time. <laughs> is this tuna mayo or something? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm back at Take 5 Tea Room, where you may remember a few months ago uh, I, I paid this place a visit and uh, I did their breakfast challenge, which had been undefeated for a while. And I noticed at the time there was a second one on the menu, so I thought I'd come back and give it a good old fashioned seeing to. I always think grated cheese in a sandwich is one of the least practical sandwich fillings on planet Earth. Who came up with that idea? Not that I'm complaining, it tastes nice. Really? Because that sounds suspiciously like complaining to me. And I would know, I do it in quite literally every video. <laughs> anyway, this thing, it's kind of an approximation of on the one hand, a, uh, an afternoon tea, and on the other, a plowman's lunch. And if you don't know what that is, a plowman's lunch was first mentioned in a, a traditional English poem in the 14th century, which makes it sound posh, but it's basically just a cold meal of bread, cheese, and fruit. The, uh, the, la the last video I did, I think the people's favourite part was your reaction. I'm a child to do that, <laughs> Right, I better do a salad. I definitely said that with the indifference of somebody who eats too much salad. <laughs> anyway, this thing is um, it's 20 quid, but only if you fail. If you succeed, it's, it's free on the hoose, and you get a place on that rather discount-looking Wall of Fame in the, uh, in the background. Which I currently occupy, having uh, won the, the the breakfast challenge. What next, pork pie? Why not? Seems like the next logical choice. A little bit disappointed to find there was neither pickle nor brown sauce. You gotta have a, a bit of HP, 
or if you're uh, if you're watching your wallet, maybe some daddies or something like that, you can have something with a bit of a kick if you're going to eat pork pie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't get me good enough though. Still, I'm, I'm glad there were no mushrooms on this one. Not a big fan of salt and vinegar crisps though. I would have preferred a cheesy flavour. I think I'll do the quiche next. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time for everything. My utmost respect goes to this cafe proprietor for uh, for not bending the rules. I did think it would be bigger than uh, it was, but it is. It's not as easy as it looks either. Oh man, you know what I think would be amazing? This is kind of like a it's like a little cheese board, right? I love. I mean, I could eat a cheese board forever. So much to do a cheese board challenge. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. The aftermath of that would uh, would not be pretty. Be worth it though. Who doesn't love cheese? The stinkier, the better too. Flanked by a few crackers on one side, maybe some chutney or honey on the other. Food of the gods, I tell ya. Are you some delicate Yeah, Very delicate. Is that sarcasm? That uh, feels like sarcasm to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did catch the slightest whiff of acerbity there. Never been called a delicate before. I'm keeping the beard pretty clean though, apart from that one piece <laughs> that just flew off <laughs> the end. Not sure if you caught that. Depends on the resolution of your device. The cheese is slowing me down. Yeah. The, the thing with this is, it's it's a little bit finicky. Is finicky a word? It's a little bit, you're not just, you know, chewing and swallowing the whole time. You gotta get your hands in there and uh, employ some dexterity. <laughs> I assume I don't have to eat the stalks. Don't nod at me, I'll do it. <laughs> I told you I'd do it. Bit of a weird flex, eating strawberry stems. That, nobody's impressed by that fella. <laughs> Blueberries are my favourite. I'm not going to eat the grape stalk, don't worry about that. They were, they were probably praying that you would eat it. Stop ruining the, the quiet afternoon meal. <laughs> Do you want to know an interesting fact about grapes? Mm. That's how Jack the Ripper used to coax all his victims into his, like, uh, you know, he used to drive around in a horse and carriage. And yeah. Used, yeah, right. yeah, because they used to be really expensive. Anyway, I'm lollygagging. I was trying to finish 12 minutes, so I'll make this guy look good. Bit of pointless historical trivia for you there. <laughs> Not that much food, but a lot of it is kind of tricky to eat quickly. Mm, mm. What's that? I'm taking too long. Yeah. You're right there. Mrs. Beard would be, uh, She'd be cracking the whip. Yeah. You're right. Can't beat a French fancy. I don't, know, I don't want to choke to death. I don't want to find out. But uh, I do. I do quite like them. We're well and truly into the afternoon tea element now because we just got uh, a cupcake, a French macaroon, a uh, millionaire shortbread cake, uh, oh, and a scone as well. It's got Palmer violets on top. I hate those things. Oh, I know you told me at the beginning that it was Palmer violet. You said I could switch out, but I didn't want to make it easier. I better make a start on the coffee because this is included. Feel free, by the way, I would appreciate it if you uh, share your hatred for Palma Violets in the comments, if you hate them too. They just, they, they always tasted like soap to me, not sweet. What do you say, scone or scone? Scone, um, I'm just gonna see how I'm Oh, is, is that like a deal break? Cause I'm a cream, I'm, I'm a cream first then, jab man. Is that wrong? <laughs> see what I mean, it's fiddly. It'd be hard to do this in 15 minutes. Yeah, I think you might have missed the boat on that one, geezer. Still, we've got 15 minutes left, so should still get the win. You know, if you don't eat this quick, 
you lose just because you, you kind of lose track of how tricky things are to actually scoff. Yeah, stop repeating yourself and eat your damn scone, you bum. It was a good scone though, cream was banging. <laughs> I'm letting you down here, mate. I should, um, what you, you, you said 12 minutes. 12 minutes. I said it'd be closer. I think you can do it under 20. Under 20? 17 What kind of cake is this then? White chocolate. White chocolate cake. Extremely sweet. I better put this. It is quite a lot. I could have a cracker or something like that, maybe. An additional cracker. I, I don't want to just eat the butter. If I put it on a cracker, I'll feel like, it, you know, it was worthwhile. Yeah, the waitress told me I had to eat the butter and I didn't want to spread it on the cake. Thank you. <laughs> do not be alarmed. I know this probably looks really weird. But just come in and go about your business. Or, or do your, uh, your scones or whatever. I mean, I, I tried to make that person feel at ease with the chaos she saw upon opening the door to the cafe. Don't think it worked though. She was, she was quite prompt to leave. <laughs> this is your fox, you said I'd take the butter. Uh, rules is rules, matey boy. Get it down, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed eating the food, and I'll catch you at the next one. <laughs> I was putting it on top of the cake. Is, is the rest of that clean? Is that alright? Is that. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> is that alright? Yeah. <laughs> I took a, a, a long time over that. Um, since you did mention it, can I have a slice of Oreo cheesecake? No. I'll try it out. I, I've probably eaten enough cake, but um, I couldn't leave without trying the Oreo cheesecake. Take that or something. It is actually take that. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> <laughs>